Hello my dear friends. On this occasion we will work with an ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, in an ESP01S packaging. We will use a USB to serial adapter CH340. We will connect the module to our computer through the adapter. Using resources from the Arduino IDE software, and from Arduino contributors, we will program the module to be used as part of a smart relay. We will use a single channel Wi-Fi relay board, and after programming the module, we will place it on the board, and that's it. We can power our relay using a 5 volt adapter, and we can connect our power circuit to the board terminals, in this case a 110 volt lamp. We will install and configure the ESP relay application on our Android, and through our phone we will wirelessly control the on and off the light bulb, or any appliance that we need to operate in our home or office. Welcome. Relay module for the ESP8266. It is composed of a magnetic type relay, with a control or activation coil of 5 volts direct current, with a capacity of 250 volts alternating current at 10 amperes, or 30 volts direct current, to handle power circuits. It has an opticoupler to optically isolate the control circuit from the power circuit. It has a 3.3 volt regulator, which allows you to expand the board's power range up to 12 volts. It has a reset button. And it has an 8-pin port, intended for an ESP8266 Wi-Fi wireless communications module, in its ESP01 or ESP01S variants. The module has a 2-terminal port for board power, from 5 to 12 volts DC. It has a 3-terminal port for the power contact of the relay, where we can connect our power circuit, with a normally open contact, and a normally closed contact, in which, and for the video practice, we will connect the circuit the 110 volt alternating current bulb. To program the ESP8266 module, in any of its ESP01 or ESP01S presentations, we will use a CH340 USB to serial adapter for the ESP8266, which presents an interface to insert the ESP module without cables, and connect it to the computer through a USB port to configure it in a very simple way with any hyperterminal software, or to update its firmware in the Arduino development environment, as is the case of our interest today. To program the ESP8266 module with a new firmware, it is necessary to place the module in flash mode, or programming mode. To do this, we must identify the GPIO0 and GND pins, which we must electrically connect with a jumper cable. Then we go to our computer, and open our Arduino development environment. In the software, we go to File and we open a new sketch. We open the board manager, and in the search bar we write ESP8266. If we have never installed this board, we can see that we do not find anything in the search results. If this is your case, we go to File. Preference. And we go to the additional URL section of the board manager, and we open this manager. Then we click on the link to list the URLs of unofficial Arduino boards. An internet window is displayed where the URLs appear organized alphabetically. We look for the URL corresponding to the ESP8266 boards. We copy the URL. And we paste it in the manager. If you already have one or more URLs pasted here before, you must separate the new one with a comma. We click on accept, and then accept. Upon completion of updating the pasted URL. We open the board manager and in the search bar we write ESP8266, and in the search results we already find a package of ESP8266 boards. We verify the latest version, and click on install. When the installation is complete, we can close the board manager, let's go to tools, and we can see the ESP8266 boards available. We select the generic ESP8266 module, referring to the ESP01 and ESP01S modules. Then we open our internet browser and paste the following URL into the address bar, I leave this URL in the video description. It takes us to the GitHub repository, where we find the base program for the ESP relay. We go to the upper right part of the program and copy it. Then in our Arduino sketch, we delete the current one, and paste this new code. In the initial part of the code, 
we are going to configure the parameters that correspond to our Wi-Fi network and to our relay board. We will place the SSID identifier of our Wi-Fi wireless network where our relay and our smartphone will be connected. We enter the password of said network. We can set a security key which will be known by the ESP8266 module and the control application on our smartphone. I will set 123. And we set the pin of the ESP8266 module that will control the board relay, which we know is GPIO0, then we will set 0. To load this code to the ESP8266 module, the latter must be in flash mode, for which the GPIO0 pin of the module must be connected to the GND pin, or ground. To do this, I have soldered two cable extensions on the USB to serial adapter, which allow me to make a bridge between these two pins described. We will join both extensions using an alligator cable. We will place the ESP8266 module on the adapter, and we will connect to our computer through a USB port. Then we go to Tools and select the generic ESP8266 board. We select the port where our operating system recognizes the USB to serial adapter, in my case COM5. Then we click on Upload this code to the ESP8266 module. In the system output, we can see the compilation of the program, and it's loading into the flash memory of the ESP8266 module. Once the program has loaded, we open the serial monitor at the top right. We can disconnect the USB adapter, remove the jumper between the two extensions, so that it works in normal operating mode, and connect it again to the USB port. If the configuration of the parameters of our Wi-Fi network was carried out correctly, we will be able to see the response of the module on the serial monitor, indicating that the ESP8266 module connected to the specified network, and obtained an IP address automatically. We must keep this IP address in mind, since it will be the same one that we configure in the application that will control the relay on our Android smartphone. Once we complete the programming of the ESP module, we insert it into the relay board. I expose the ends of a USB cable, positive and negative. Using a terminal block screwdriver, and guided by the markings or labels on the back of the board, I connected the cable to the relay power supply, to obtain a USB connection terminal and connected a 5 volt phone adapter to the end of the port. Using an AC cable with the end exposed, and an E27 light bulb base, I connected a strand of the AC cable to one of the two terminals of the light bulb base, and connected one end of a section of cable on the other terminal of the base. I connected the free end to the NC, or normally closed contact of the relay board, and connected the free wire of the AC cable to the common contact of the relay board. Finally, I connected the relay board to power with the adapter. I placed a 5 watt light bulb. And I connected it to the 110 volt alternating current. On an Android phone connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the relay, we open the Play Store, search for, and install the ESP Relay application. Once installed, we open the application, and in the plus icon, we create a new relay, indicating a name for it. Indicating an IP address, which must be the same as indicated by the Arduino serial monitor. And indicating the security key, just as we programmed it in the Arduino code. We select save, and that's it. Friends, I hope this video is useful to you, subscribe to the channel, and click on the bell to be aware of new posts.